Hey friends, it's the Drive to School Podcast. It's Pastor Goodman, and we are going to talk about the things that we're going to see in church. And in church this Sunday, I'm going to hear about the parable of the Good Samaritan. Everybody sort of knows about it because they were probably made to feel guilty about something down uh, the line in the past. Uh, the lawyer desiring to justify himself says to Jesus, who is my neighbor? And Jesus tells him the parable of the Good Samaritan, that a man was beaten and left half dead laying on the side of the road, and the priest and the Levites see this and walk by on the other side of the road. But finally, it is the Good Samaritan who stops, tends to the man's wounds, puts him on his own animal, carries him to the inn, pays his way, and promises to return and cover any debts that are incurred. Uh, this is what being a neighbor looks like. And I, I meant use it as a weapon because we only really seem to bring this up uh, not to remind ourselves to help other people more, but to remind other people how they have not helped someone someone else. Uh, and in all of it, we have the same issue as the lawyer, desiring to justify himself. You see, when you have to justify, when you have to be the right one uh, by your actions, your neighbors turn into something different. They're no longer the souls that Jesus redeemed, uh, but they're sort of chess pieces to be moved around, object lessons to uh, show or, or, or uh, hide what faith you do or don't have. Um, and, well, if you are desiring to justify yourself, well, that's not neighborly. It actually shows us in the end that the Good Samaritan is not us. The Good Samaritan is Jesus. He sees us um, who, who are in need, beaten and left for dead in the midst of our, our sin. And, well, he, he draws near to save. He, he tends to our wounds. He pays for our salvation. He pays ultimately for our rest. The, the joy of it is that he's actually doing it to the lawyer who's putting Jesus to the test. We, we, we see Jesus actually draw near to the lawyer who, no matter how outwardly uh, cocky he behaves, still has to struggle with this parable. And Jesus draws near to die for him, to die for you, to die for all. See, the parable of the Good Samaritan, it wasn't ever meant to be a weapon. It was supposed to be a gift. So when we go to church this Sunday, hopefully we're going to hear more than um, you should be nice people because you don't actually need to be a Christian to do that. The parable of the Good Samaritan actually shows that the Samaritan, the person who would have nothing to do with the sacrifices offered in the temple, well, he is the one who can actually be kind. You don't need to be a Christian to be kind. Mormons can be kind. Atheists can be kind. Muslims can be kind. Everyone can be kind. But... We have a God who draws near to save. It, it, it's a different thing because it's true that everyone can be kind, but there's also that moment where everybody's been caught off guard and wasn't, where everybody's caught in the midst of, of, of sin or even just being sinned against. And, and inside of it, uh, we actually need help. You see, there's something kind of wild about the parable of the, uh, the Good Samaritan in that um, as often as we sort of talk about it and how we ought to help, you know who is, is exempted from salvation altogether, who, who simply can't be saved? The only person who can't be saved in the parable of the Good Samaritan is the guy who got mugged. He can't help. He's the one who needs help. If, if salvation is only for the helpers and never for the helped, well, that's privilege that really ought to be checked. Um, if, if salvation is only for those who are capable of helping others, but not those who themselves have received help, Jesus dying on the cross is nothing. But if it's the other way around, then, well, when you are at your lowest, when you are at your weakest, when you are at your I should have but didn't the most, when you are a sinner, Jesus draws near to save you. Hear the gospel in church this Sunday in the parable of the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan is Jesus. He draws near to save even you.